Something that's new to us this year that we'll be using a lot more next year is both SharePoint and OneNote and I want to give you a quick tutorial on both of them. This will take about 60 seconds. Uh, the first thing is SharePoint. SharePoint is like our drives, you know, our S drives and so forth, but it's on our network. So if you go onto our homepage, you go down to the SharePoint link, which is there in My Tools, and it actually takes you up to the SharePoint page. Uh, the particular resource I want to show you is over in Staff and Students, which as the name suggests can be seen by both staff and students. Uh, staff can edit it, whereas students can only view it. And the particular resource I actually wanted to show you is a OneNote um, resource for e-learning. Now I've put some resources in here but I'm certainly envisaging that lots of other people will um, contribute to this which is why it's in the area that we can all edit. So I bring it up like that, then I click on open in OneNote, I agree to the dialog box and there it is in OneNote. Uh, so we've got the, an introduction and we've got stuff about collaborating, publishing and so forth and there's all kinds of resources in here and I'm sure other people have fantastic resources all the way down to stuff that's specific to your discipline. Um, so this is a fantastic place to put all of that. Once you've launched it from SharePoint, OneNote will remember where the document came from and it will stay in your OneNote so you don't have to open and close it all the time like you would a Word document. And if you make any changes to it, it will automatically save them back to the server. So this might be worth opening before you leave the college at the end of the year. Uh, you can do it from home. And, um, and having a look to see what resources might be useful to you and also what resources you can put in that might be useful to other people.